As the name suggests, Spearfish is a popular fishing destination for locals and tourists alike. As part of the fish tourism industry, the DC Booth Historic Fish Hatchery allows visitors the chance to see where some of the fish on their lines come from. The strength of our partnership, the State Game Fish and Parks rear the trout in this facility. And the trout we use in the Black Hills are primarily to take pressure off of our natural streams. Uh, most of our trout streams in the Black Hills have self-sustaining populations of trout. And these trout are used in, uh, mostly in reservoir situations in the Black Hills. And a few of them even end up in the Missouri River for uh, recreational fishing. There are several things that our visitors can do here. Uh, the number one attraction is probably viewing our fish and our waterfowl and feeding them. And then we also have exciting exhibits on site here. Our Yellowstone boat that was used in the early 1900s for fish management on Ye Lake Yellowstone. Uh, we are building a replica fish car, a uh, model after the cars that used to haul fish all over this country. We have a historic hatchery building that we use as a visitor center. And the Fish and Wildlife Service function here is to collect the history of fish management in this country and store it in a collection facility and then share it with the American people and all of our visitors. This historic site that we're all working together to preserve has historic structures, and yet we build new and exciting exhibits, and it's just a really neat place to come and relax and spend time with your families and look at the wildlife and the fish, and just a good family experience. Unfortunately for you fishermen out there, you cannot fish here. Just looking at how these fish react to food, anyone who knows their way around a rod and reel wouldn't find it very challenging. Instead, you can dream about the next big one while looking at some of these 20 pounders. These guys may be large and plump when they reach the main pond, but they don't look that special when they first arrive at the hatchery. In the spring, they bring in fingerlings here, three or four inch long, and they rear them through the summer months and stock them all through the summer. The fish leave the hatchery at 10 inches and are destined for reservoirs and lakes across South Dakota and Wyoming. To learn more about South Dakota trout and the fish industry, visit the DC Booth Historic Fish Hatchery. It's open year-round and admission is free.